For decades, mankind believed that dark shapes crisscrossing the planet Mars were signs of advanced civilization. Astronomers even speculated that it could be a Martian civilization. But a NASA mission discovers that the truth is even stranger. A pioneering astronomer sees signs of intelligent life on the surface of the red planet. That was a pretty exciting thing, you know, that you big canals. That had to be a big civilization to do something like that. More than a century later, a NASA probe finds evidence of water channels on Mars. We have evidence today that water is still percolating out of the planet. We see from these orbital images now these channels, and they seem very fresh. What are the canals of Mars? Today, NASA's cutting-edge spacecraft allow us to see other worlds and even distant stars. The white heat of technological progress has even burned away many ancient superstitions. But some beliefs are harder to dismiss. On September 5, 1877, the planet Mars makes one of its closest approaches to Earth since the age of the Neanderthals. An Italian astronomer, Giovanni Schiaparelli, seizes the opportunity to get a close look at the red planet. Giovanni Schiaparelli was a very meticulous and rigorous chronicler of what he saw through his, his telescopes. Uh, and Mars was a subject of fascination to him. During his observations, Schiaparelli sees something extraordinary on the surface of Mars. He saw these lines on the surface, which he called canals. The discovery of what looks like a network of canals across the red planet influences some of the major players in the American scientific community. Percival Lowell was a foremost American astronomer, and he drew what he saw in the patterns on Mars, and he saw canals with the notion that Mars might even have a network of canals. Astronomers even speculated that it could be a Martian civilization. Lowell really popularized the idea that there was a dying civilization on Mars and they had to build canals to transport polar water to the equator and so forth, and he made a great story out of it all. Martians are everybody's favorite alien, and they have been for hundreds of years. And in particular, a century ago, people were talking about the canals on Mars. Well, the canals on Mars wouldn't have been made by microbes. The idea of a Martian civilization based around a network of canals becomes part of mainstream pop culture in the 20th century. Edgar Rice Burroughs is famous for creating Tarzan, but his Martian adventure stories are also huge and still with us. The 2012 Disney movie John Carter was based on his stories, and few people realize the fourth most expensive movie of all time was inspired by 19th century astronomy. The idea that there could be an advanced civilization there struggling against their dying planet, you know, it's a drama played out on another planet. It helps make this place part of, of human culture, part of the human story. For a long time, most of the Earth believed that there were Martians. Then we sent the satellites, the probes, out to Mars, and we got close-up pictures of Mars. No canals, no water, no atmosphere. It's a very harsh environment, minus 50 degrees on a warm summer day, very little air and all the wrong kind of air. I mean, you know, the idea that there are sort of Martians walking around having a good afternoon, uh, you know, that doesn't play very well. The channels Lowell observed are not signs of Martian civilization. NASA's survey missions provide an alternative explanation for what he saw through his primitive telescope. Schiaparelli and Lowell were looking at Mars from the Earth through a turbulent atmosphere and with telescopes that had glass that was inferior. Defocusing a modern Mars image simulates what you would see through a 19th century telescope. 
Dark areas of the planet morph into lines and what looks like networks of interconnected waterways. This is what Schiaparelli saw as Canali. But in reality, the shapes are characteristic of the Martian topography. The human brain tends to convince us that we see patterns when maybe they aren't there. The patterns may be an illusion, but the crystal clear images from NASA's recent Mars missions do suggest there once was water on Mars. It was the biggest canyon in, in the solar system. It, it's what the Grand Canyon would like to be if it ever grows up. It's pretty good proof, among other things, that there was water on Mars. Maybe there were canals two million years ago, but they're not anymore, I'm sorry to say. From the 1960s, most scientists agreed that Mars is almost completely dry. But in 2011, Professor Alfred McEwen spots something astonishing in images from NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. We see these dark lines on steep slopes that uh, appear and grow slowly or incrementally down the slope during the warmest season. What's exciting about these, these lines is that uh, we can explain this as actual liquid water today slowly seeping down these slopes. We've got gullies that are coming out of the side of craters. Uh, with little bits of water, like little waterfalls, maybe only lasting a half an hour or so. But we have evidence today that water is still percolating out of the, out of the planet. We found out that in a sense, Percival Rouleau was right. There are channels in the surface of Mars carved to transport water from one place to another. But does water also mean life? At 10.30 a.m. on the 16th of December, 2014, NASA made an astonishing announcement. We now have uh, full confidence that there is methane occasionally present in the atmosphere of Mars and that there are organics preserved in ancient rocks on Mars in certain places, consistent with the former presence of life. It's not an argument that we have found evidence of life on Mars, but it is one of the few hypotheses that we can propose in the future. For the first time ever, NASA has officially conceded that there may have been life on Mars. NASA's next Mars rover is not scheduled to launch until 2020. For now at least, the idea of life in Martian canals will remain fiction.